Antoninus Pius, born on September 19, 86 in Lanuvium, was a prominent member of the Gens Aurelia and served as the Emperor of Rome from 138 to 161. He is widely regarded as one of the most capable emperors in Roman history and was known for his respect for the rights of others. During times of disaster, he generously used his own funds to assist those in need. Antoninus was unique in his dedication to improving the conditions of slaves. Antoninus Pius's reign lasted for over 22 years and fell within the period of the adoptive emperors. It was a time of peace and prosperity, during which the Roman Empire flourished. Antoninus was the only child of Titus Aurelius Fulvus, a consul ordinarius in 89, and his wife Aria Fadilla who was the daughter of the two-time consuls Sufectus Nius Arius Antoninus and Boionia Priscilla. Antoninus' father and paternal grandfather both passed away while he was young, so he was raised by his maternal grandfather, Nius Arius Antoninus. He was highly respected by his contemporaries for his integrity and cultured manner. Nius Arius Antoninus was a friend of Pliny the Younger. After the death of Antoninus's father, his mother remarried Publius Julius Lupus a man of consular rank and consul suffectus, in 98. Antoninus gained two half-sisters from this union, Aria Lupula and Julia Fadilla. Antoninus spent his childhood in Laurium, a town located 19 kilometers west of Rome. He married Ania Galeria Faustina sometime between 110 and 115, and the couple is believed to have had a happy marriage. Faustina was known for her wisdom and beauty and was dedicated to helping the poor and disadvantaged Romans throughout her life. She was the daughter of the consul Marcus Annius Verus and Rupilia Faustina, the half-sister of the Roman Empress Vibia Sabina, who was married to Emperor Hadrian. Faustina passed away at a young age, only three years after Antoninus became emperor. To honor her memory, Antoninus had numerous coins minted with her portrait and built a temple in her honor where she is depicted with orphans. Antoninus and Faustina had four children together, but only their youngest daughter, Faustina the Younger, survived to adulthood. The couple's two sons died before 138, and their eldest daughter, Aurelia Fadilla, passed away at a young age, likely before the age of 24. She was married to Lucius Plautius Lamia Silvanus, who would later become consul in 145 but it is believed that their marriage remained childless. Antoninus had a typical career in the Roman Senate, serving as quaestor in 111 and praetor in 117 before becoming consul ordinarius in 120. He also served as governor of the province of Asia from 135 to 136 or earlier. Emperor Hadrian appointed Antoninus as one of the four consuls responsible for administering justice in Italy and as a member of his concilium. After Lucius Aelius Verus Caesar, the intended successor, died on January 1, 138, Hadrian appointed Antoninus as his successor and adopted him as his son on February 25. However, Antoninus had to agree to adopt Marcus Annius Verus, his cousin by marriage, and Aelius' seven-year-old son. Hadrian saw Antoninus as an interim emperor, especially for Annius Verus, who was too young for the throne. But there is evidence that Hadrian preferred the even younger Lucius Verus, who was terminally ill. Antoninus became Augustus and Imperator after Hadrian's death in the summer of AD 138. He made a significant change to Hadrian's plans by arranging for his daughter Faustina to marry Marcus Aurelius instead of Lucius Verus. The period of Antoninus' reign was relatively peaceful, with the exception of a few uprisings in North Britain. He ordered the construction of the Wall of Antoninus, which was situated approximately 120 kilometers north of Hadrian's Wall. There were also minor issues in Egypt, Judea, and Mauritania. Antoninus earned his title pious due to his loyalty and benevolence. After becoming emperor, he insisted on giving Hadrian the honorary title of Divus. The Senate initially rejected the proposal, but Antoninus threatened to resign if they did not accept it. The Senate eventually relented, impressed by Antoninus' loyalty to his adoptive father. He also pardoned those who were sentenced to death at the end of Hadrian's reign, earning the Senate's admiration and the title pious. After Julius Caesar and Emperor Augustus, 
the Senate proposed naming September after Antoninus Pius due to his exceptional leadership. However, he declined the offer, and no further proposals were made, leaving September and all subsequent months with their original names. During the years 147 and 148, Rome celebrated its 900th anniversary in grand style. April 21, 147, was the highlight of the festivities, featuring spectacular performances by numerous wild animals, particularly impressive were the elephants, which became a symbol of the celebration. Antoninus Pius turned 70 years old in 156, and as he aged, he increasingly relied on Marcus to take over his administrative duties, particularly after Marcus became Praetorian prefect. In 160, Marcus and Lucius were appointed consuls for the following year. Antoninus passed away before the year ended, likely due to natural causes, at the age of 74. Two days before his death, Antoninus became ill after tasting alpine cheese during dinner. He may have had food poisoning, as he vomited that night and had a fever the next day. On March 7, 161, he called the imperial council and handed over the state and his daughter to Marcus Aurelius. His final words were equanimitas, equanimity, to the tribune of the night's watch who came to ask for the password. He then turned over and passed away, concluding the longest reign since Augustus, surpassing that of Tiberius by several months. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the video please subscribe to our channel.